Hello and welcome to my channel, Sandra's Homespun Life. In today's video, I have a crock pot recipe for you, and it's called chicken and gravy. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into the recipe and get this cooked. The ingredients I'll be using for this recipe are three to four chicken breasts. I'm using boneless, skinless, a package of onion soup mix, two packages of brown gravy mix, and three cups of water. So for my first step, I'm gonna make the gravy base that's gonna go over my chicken breast. So I'm gonna add my three cups of water. My two packages of brown gravy mix. And my one package of the onion soup mix. And using my whisk, I'm just gonna stir that up until everything's well blended. Now that this is well blended, I'm going to set it to the side and get my crock pot out. For my next step, I'm going to place the chicken breast in the crock pot. Now I'm going to pour my gravy mixture over top of the chicken breast. Next, I'm going to place my lid onto my crock pot. I'm going to set it to low. Now the recipe says to let this go for three or four hours or until done. I'm using frozen chicken breast, so I may have to cook mine more like five, but I'll cook it until it's thoroughly cooked through. And I'll bring you all back when it's done. Okay, I've allowed my chicken to cook until it's cooked through. So I'm going to remove my lid. And for my next step, I will be removing the chicken breast over to a separate dish. Now, there's one or two options that you can do from here. The recipe just says to shred the chicken and add it back to the gravy mixture and then you can serve it over potatoes or however you want to serve it. Me, I'm going to remove the chicken and shred it, but before I return it back to my crock pot, I'm going to thicken my gravy up just a little bit using some cornstarch and water. And I'll be just turning my crock pot up to high it's already bubbling pretty good, so it won't take much to thicken it up at all. And I'm going to take three tablespoons of the cornstarch, add three tablespoons of cold water to that, mix it up real good, and stir it in that gravy with a whisk, and it will thick up, thicken up almost immediately. And then, after I've got that thickened up, then I'm going to return my shredded chicken back to it. But the original recipe just said, you know, to shred the chicken and return it back to the crock pot. So you can make your own decision on that. Now at this point, it's ready to serve however you wish to serve it. You can uh, turn the crock pot down on warm and keep this warm. Or if you're ready to eat, just go ahead and turn your crock pot off and it'll still stay hot for a good little while. I thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And until next time, guys, bye.